How's it going guys? So you probably have already seen this, but yesterday there was a leaked video of the new refresh of the 2018 Ford Mustang. The new design upset a lot of people. But what I find is interesting is nowadays, almost every refresh or redesign of a car that already exists upsets almost the entire population. But then over time, the design starts to grow on people, and then after a while, it seems like they like it more than the previous design. Take the Audi R8, for instance. When the new generation Audi R8 came out, people were confused, it was too angular, the proportions looked weird. Considering the last generation R8 was one of the most beautiful sports cars ever made, it was a little bit disturbing to some people. But then after seeing it in person, and after being around it more, the car really grew on me, and now I like it a lot more than the old generation, and so do many people. A really powerful skill that designers have nowadays is being able to develop a car that you don't necessarily know yet that you like the way it looks, but it grows on you, and that's pretty powerful that they're able to look so far beyond the curve that they kind of know what people in 2018 or 2019 are gonna be looking for, and it kind of shapes what you want in a car before you know what you want in a car. The car shown in the video is a 2018 Mustang GT with the performance pack. Most notably, the front end is very redesigned. The lights are, to be honest, a bit droopy looking. It kind of reminds me actually of the lights from the V10 version of the BMW M6. Part of the styling also looks like a Jaguar XKRS and the daytime running lights with the little louvers look a little bit like the new generation Camaro. People really, really aren't liking it, but you know what? I kinda do. Before making a conclusion on how the Mustang looks, I think it's really important to see it in person. When you can see all the proportions in person, it really changes your perspective on the car. I'm starting to like the Mustang more and more as I look at it, especially as more pictures are revealed from different angles. I can see how people are shocked at the new design, but you gotta remember, when the S550 generation of the Mustang came out, people hated it. They thought that Ford ruined the Mustang. Now, the majority of people that at least I've spoken to, as well as myself, think that the S550 generation Mustang, like 2015, looks better than the 2014 does. In the back, we've got a new California special style rear wing that looks really nice. We've also got some updated tail lights that have a little bit more curvature in them, looks more aggressive. I think they really knocked it out of the park with the back. People are complaining about the front, but honestly, it just looks like more of a GT350 style rear end, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. We've got a different style around the license plate, and most importantly, we have an active quad exhaust. I'm glad they incorporated this. Quad exhaust really makes a car look a lot more aggressive, and you can click a button to transform it from a loud, deafening crowd slayer to something that cruises quietly along the road. Although I don't know why you would ever want your Mustang to be quiet, but hopefully with the new active exhaust, they make it even a little bit louder than it was. As you can see in the video, there is a clear 5.0 badge. There were rumors that Ford was gonna go to a 4.8 because they're developing that for the F-150, but that's not the case. Now, funny enough, halfway through making this video, Ford fully revealed the car at Kobo in Detroit, and we've got some hard facts on the vehicle. Ford has killed off the V6, so you can only get the four-cylinder EcoBoost or the V8. Transmission options include a six-speed manual, it's supposed to be a lot smoother, and some reduced vibrations, taking some components of the GT350 and putting it into the normal Mustang GT. We've also got a new 10-speed transmission, which has faster shift times, faster acceleration, and better fuel economy. Another very important addition is the availability of magnetic ride suspension on the Performance Package GT as well as EcoBoost. That's really going to help the car handle a lot better. It's incredible how they've moved from standard suspension and a live axle to independent rear suspension uh, with this magnetoheriological damper. On the interior, it's basically the same, although we've got a full digital 12 inch display in the front. I think that is awesome. Definitely the way that manufacturers in general are moving. It makes it more customizable and more pleasing to look at. It is very different, however, from the analog retro styling of Mustangs of the past but I'm sure once we get a test drive in it, it should be a cool addition. We've also got a drag racing mode that simulates the Christmas tree at a drag strip so you can improve your reaction times. I think that's pretty cool. 
So with that, there are some new facts about the 2018 Mustang GT refresh. I think once they start hitting the roads and we see more of them in person, the design is really gonna grow on us. I'll be the first to say it. Everyone's hating on it, but I kind of like the way it looks. Sorry if you disagree, but that's just my opinion. I'm sure obviously Ford liked the way it looks, otherwise they wouldn't release it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.